Stopping our news at seven, sex trafficking has become a nationwide issue, but here in West Virginia, officials are seeing a disturbing twist. It's called familial sex trafficking, families selling their own children to feed their drug addictions. 13 News reporter Adrian Robbins has this special report. It's affecting our youngest and most vulnerable West Virginians, and the perpetrators are those they trust the most. The opioid epidemic is getting worse. Who's to blame for this nation's opioid crisis? 32 million pills distributed by healthcare officials. The opioid epidemic has infected West Virginia. The desperation that occurs within families to feed this terrible epidemic. Addiction certainly has a price, and in West Virginia, some parents and grandparents are paying with their own children trafficking them for drugs and money. We've had situations where parents and grandparents are cooking meth and um, in order to kind of help improve their sales, they will allow their, their daughters to engage in relationships with adult men. Cases of human trafficking are underreported for a variety of reasons. One of the biggest reasons they aren't reported is some victims don't know that they're victims. Helping them understand that it's not okay that dad allows the neighbor um, to have sex with you in exchange for his back medicine. Dads aren't supposed to do that. That alone is traumatic. But why West Virginia? Well, it's not just because of the opioid epidemic. I think in some of our more rural areas, it can be kept under um, wrap basically for, for kids for years because no one even notices what's happening. So what's the answer to keeping children from becoming victims? We need to look and listen for the signs. When you have an office which has six investigators, you can't catch everything. And same with the local prosecutors. They may have one or two local investigators. They're not going to be able to find things. You need people in the community to bring these matters to our attention, to the local prosecutor's attention. That's how you get, really get to change the behavior on this topic. For anyone who is a victim of human trafficking or suspects trafficking to be happening, you can find a list of resources on our website, WOWKTV.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Adrian Robbins, 13 News, working for you.